Hello my brothers and sisters in Christ, I hope you're all doing well. You know, some of you who are watching this message, you used to go to the dope dealer to get happiness, but now you're going to the hope dealer, Jesus Christ. Before we were born again, we used to go to the bottle shop to, you know, to get our, you know, um, our alcohol to help us get through the situations of life or some of us used to have addictions of gaming or some of us you know used to trust in our wealth you know guys some of us used to get happiness out of hobbies some of us used to get happiness out of pleasure out of wealth out of achievements you know guys some people used to you know depend on their family you know guys as their provider some people used to, you know, you know, really be in a in a in a brotherhood of, of, of people who took care of them and they would trust them to protect them and to pr provide for them. You know guys, now that you're born again, now that you're a child of God, and now that you know God is your provider, God is your counselor, God is the one who 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 makes you satisfied. You know, guys, Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. You know, he lets me lay down in pastures of green grass. You know, guys, hallelujah. Jesus is the one who satisfies you. Jesus is the one who gives you peace. Jesus is the one who gives you peace that surpasses all understanding. Jesus is your counselor. You know, guys, you don't need to go back to drinking alcohol. You know, you don't need to go back to smoking or going to the dope dealer or going, you know, to your hobbies or going back to your, your addiction of, of playing games, you know, to, to get through hard times or, you know, you don't have to go back to depending on, you know, your brotherhood, your old friends, you know, guys, you don't have to go back to depending on cigarettes, you don't have to go back to depending on people. You know, guys, you don't have to go back to the way of the world, the way you were before you were a Christian. Now that you're born again, my brother, now that you're born again, my sister, just trust the Lord. Go to Him. You know, guys, as a matter of fact, Jesus said, come to me, all of you who are weary and heavy burdened, and I will give you rest for your soul. You know, guys, I believe someone who's watching this message tonight is at a crossroad. You know, you're tired, you're weary, you know, you feel like you can't, you can't go on any longer. You know, guys, I want to share in this message tonight that instead of going back to the old way, you can go to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ can help you and he will help you. He promises to if you would go back to him, my brother, if you would choose to go to him, my sister. You know, guys, yes, you know, some of you are tired, you're weary, you know, guys, you've got people attacking you, you know, physically and verbally, and demons are attacking you, and physically you're worn out, you know, guys, some of you might have financial, you know, deficits or situations, health problems, you know, guys, you know, guys, in the world there's tribulations, but Jesus said, be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. You know, guys, I know someone who's watching this message is at a crossroad. You know, you can go left or you can go right. You can go to Jesus or you can go back to the way of the world. You know, guys, I want to point you to Jesus. I want to point you to Jesus. You don't have to go back to things that perish. You don't have to go back to depending on people or depending on a substance or depending on a hobby, you know, to get you through to the other end. You know, guys, you know, guys, I want to give an analogy. It's like there's a half eaten Mars bar in front of you, a chocolate bar that's half eaten and you can choose to eat that or on, on the other side, there's a table and it's filled with roast chicken, roast lamb, lo roast pork, you know, hot chips, you know, it's, it's filled just, uh, just, you know, salmon, you know, guys, just really nice food, beautiful vegetables, watermelon, grapes, you know, 
you can choose the the banquet that's just filled with with just great food that will satisfy you or you can you know go for that half eaten chocolate bar half eaten mars bar you know guys you know guys hallelujah i hope you get the painting the picture the parable or you know guys that i'm trying to i'm trying to get to you you know is that the things in this world are rubbish compared to Jesus and Jesus has his hand out to you today Jesus knows you're tired you know guys you know guys Jesus knows it's hard you know guys Jesus knows the pain the trouble the demonic attacks trials tribulations because he was God you know came down as a man Jesus Christ he was tempted just like we were tempted you know he went to work he had to deal with people he had to deal with the devil he had to deal with his flesh he knows exactly what you're going through my brother he knows exactly what you're going through my sister if you choose to go to him you will overcome you know and if you do make a mistake you know guys there is grace you know guys there is grace for you if you have made a mistake and you're watching this it says God's grace is new every morning. Just simply ask Him for forgiveness. You know, if you have gone back to your old habits, your old lifestyle, just simply ask, say, God, please forgive me. Just repent. Go back to Him. He'll forgive you. You know, guys, He promises to. If we, you know, if we sin, if we confess our sin to God, He is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You know, guys, I'm not perfect. I know you're not perfect. Hallelujah. You know why? It's because you're still on the face of planet Earth. No one here is perfect. You know, guys, I don't preach a holiness, perfectionism gospel because that's just, it's a load of, you know, guys, it's a load of rubbish. Only Jesus was perfect. No matter how hard you try to never sin and never make a mistake, you will make a mistake because it's a sanctification process. You know, guys, we're being sanctified. We're justified by faith. We're in the sanctification process. Next is glorification. Hallelujah. We're going to be going home because our names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. But the point I want to make is tonight, you know, guys, and we don't, you know, Grace is not a license to sin. Once saved, always saved is obviously not true. But if we make mistakes, God will forgive us when we come to Him and ask for it. Back onto the message, you know, guys. Turn to Jesus. Don't turn to the old ways. Go back to the new ways. Jesus Christ, hallelujah. No amount of dope... You know, no amount of alcohol, cigarettes, no amount of um, indulging yourself in any sin or any hobbies or any trusting people or games or addictions or hobbies or this or that or whatever is going to satisfy you like Jesus. You know, guys, nothing will satisfy you like Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Nothing can fill that empty void better than Jesus Christ. Because Jesus made that empty void on the inside of you to be filled with Him, with His Spirit, with intimacy with Him. Hallelujah. Turn to God, my brother. Turn to God, my sister. Don't go back to the old ways. You know, guys, the old ways are a trap. They're a snare. You know, you don't want to get into bondage to sin because the devil will just beat you up when you get in bondage, you know, guys. You know, guys, the devil wants to try and destroy your faith through sin. You know, he wants you to get stuck in your old ways. You know, behold, whoever is in Christ is a new creation. We are born again. Behold, all things are new. Old things, old things have passed away. Behold, all things are new. You know, guys, you're a new creature in Jesus Christ. Don't go back to the old ways, but rather renew your mind. You've already got a brand new spirit. Now you need to renew your mind. Go and read the scriptures. Turn to Jesus Christ. He loves you. And, and He will make a way when there seems to be no way. You know, guys, you can turn to Jesus. Don't turn to the old way. He loves you so much. 
When you pray to Him, He will give you strength. You know, God knows that it's not easy, but when you turn to Him, He makes all things possible. So see you guys. Bye.